So during my university days, I took three part-time jobs while studying full-time for my bachelor's degree. If some of you are wondering why I torture myself like that, my reason is simply I really really needed the money. I was living on my own in a share house in Sydney, so you can imagine how crazy expensive the rent is there. If some of you cannot imagine, four girls, one bedroom, one toilet, and we pay 1,600 ringgit a month each. What? But that is not what I am going to talk about today. Previously, some of you asked me how I managed to juggle between my three jobs and also my full-time studies. So today, I will be sharing with you my story about how I did it and also give you five tips on what you should take note when juggling with multiple jobs. So whether you are a student or a full-time employee who is looking for a part-time job, I hope this video could be beneficial if you like to know how to balance your life while taking on extra commitment. So without further ado, let's start the intro. I have for you is start with a job that you can commit. When I first started looking for a part-time job, I decided to choose a job that I can commit no matter what. And the two factors that I put very heavy consideration was time and responsibility. That means my part-time job cannot clash with my university schedule because my studies must always be my priority. And two, it must not interrupt with my personal time, which means there is no take-home work. Back then for me, my university classes were usually from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So I choose to work at places that avoided that time. For example, like morning cafes or dinner restaurants. If you're a student looking for part-time work, I definitely recommend working at retail shop instead of doing office work. Because retails or restaurants require less commitment from you. Your work ends the moment your shift ends, so you can freely move on to do other things in your life. I know the office can be quite comfortable compared to working at restaurants, but just take note that office work are quite task-oriented. That means if your boss gave you a job like preparing the presentation sheet for tomorrow's meeting and you have yet to finish it, then you may have to bring your work back with you, which will affect your private time or your study time. And I know many of you wouldn't want that. So before taking on part-time work, always consider how much time and responsibility you are ready to put in. Because if you can't perform the job consistently, you won't be able to earn that extra regular pocket money. The second tip I have for you is do one at a time. Some of you might be thinking, is working three part-time jobs even possible? Yes, I've done it. Even though three part-time jobs sound like a lot, the two jobs I had usually only take about three to four hours of my time a day. And the third job was more casual than regular. So I only work if the manager has a shift for me that week. Sometimes I don't even get any shift at all if it's during the low holiday season. But I did not start off with three jobs. I gradually increased my workload only after I felt confident that I can handle my first part-time job. So please don't try to take on too much work because it can be quite tiring, not just physically, but also mentally. I took three jobs because I needed the income stability in case one of the part-time jobs ended without notice. Yes, it happened. And I also love gaining experience and learning new things at work. So it wasn't as stressful as you think. To me, my part-time jobs were like school clubs. So I really enjoyed my time working. But if I have to be completely honest with you guys, when I had to attend to all three jobs at the same time, it was seriously super tiring to the point that I couldn't focus on my studies and because of that, I failed one of my uni subjects. So please think twice before you decide to take in that many jobs. The third tip I have for you is make use of the holidays. I never go on a holiday during the holidays. The holiday season has always been my preferred time to work because one, it's usually more expensive to go on a holiday and two, everywhere is seriously way too crowded. The holidays is actually the best time to earn an extra income. It's like the golden period to make money because there are so much more job opportunities and you also get paid more by the hour. Plus, you don't have to worry about your full-time studies because it's the holidays. I usually like to make use of this time to compare which job paid me the most so that I can make more money. So why go on a holiday when you can go treasure hunting instead, if you know what I mean. Four, make an agreement with your boss. 
I was a student at a prestigious university, so I understand how some of you are worried if your job might get in the way of your studies, especially during your exam period. So here, I just like to reassure you that there is really nothing to worry about. Your boss is a human being who is capable of understanding and is open to negotiation. During your job interview, you can let them know that you are a full-time student and that there are periods where you just won't be able to work because of your exams. Your employer would be totally okay with you taking a short period off, so long as you let them know in advance. But please, don't ever suddenly quit just because you know you can. I've seen some irresponsible people who just don't show up for work or quit out of the blue because they had other priorities. I know it's just a part-time job and it may be temporary, but the relationship you had at your workplace will carry on forever. And if you build a bad reputation with one employer, it may affect your chances in getting a job with other employers especially with well-known companies because they may call your ex-employer about your previous working performance. Number five is rank your priorities. You should always keep it in mind that your first priority must be your studies and you should never let your work interfere with your study goal, no matter how much you enjoy your job or how well paid it is. Huh? Your part-time job is just a means to get by financially. But your degree is your window to better job opportunities that may lead to a lifelong career. I personally made that mistake because I was so into making more money that it caused me to fail one of my subjects. Hello, it's me. So as a result, I had to redo that course again and it delayed my progress towards graduation. So don't repeat my mistake. I just like to add one more tip which I think is also quite important to note and that is take care of your health. Working part-time and study at the same time can be a very fun and fulfilling experience but that is only if you have the right balance. Putting too much on your plate will not only be physically tiring but also very stressful which may deter your focus on your studies because you have no time to rest at all. So what is the right balance? Well, I don't really have a right answer to this. It really depends on your own capability to multitask, but I strongly recommend that you at least have enough time to rest and just relax your mind. Your brain and your body don't just need sleep. It needs to distress by doing other enjoyable things like hang out with your friends or watch a nice movie or even slowly enjoy a delicious meal rather than eating on the run all the time, if you know what I mean. Before you all go, which I know you're planning to, I'd just like to thank all of you for supporting our channel and helping us reach to 8,000 subscribers. Yes, 8,000. Like seriously, I never thought that 8,000 people would be interested in our content and I'm just so happy that our videos have been very helpful to all of you. I read every one of your comments and I am glad that our channel is able to help everyone clear up the many, many confusing and difficult things in the world of finance. That has always been this channel's objective and we really appreciate for all the feedback you guys gave us. i also like to announce that me and Ying have just launched a new vlog channel called Ivy and Ying where we will move all of our lifestyle videos from this channel to that channel. So this channel will focus more on finance while that channel will focus on normal everyday things in our life like uh, what food we eat, or what exercise we do, or what we usually do. You know, just normal everyday stuff. So if you like to see our vlogs, feel free to click the link in the description box and subscribe to that channel. And that's it for today. And I'll see you next time. Bye!